welcome to the channel DC Technet is your own channel so do like share and subscribe so we believe in say, experimenting and experiencing and share our experiences with everyone so we do a lot of mistakes in our experiments and we like to share the experiences with everyone so let's get started let's see what we have say on the agenda today so a lot of people uh, write me an email or drop me a message or call me with their queries questions they do some time call me on their say teams meetings to join a critical call and uh, say i came to know one thing that uh, there are some concepts which are still not clear in say many of the folks so what i decided to just create one video on what is a domain controller so still people are say, not that clear about what a domain controller is in the world of active directory so today's topic of the discussion would be what is a domain controller so let's see what a domain controller is all about so any computer on which active directory database is present is called as a domain controller or any computer on which active directory database say active directory domain services are installed and configured is called as a domain controller so any computer on which active directory domain services are installed and configured is called as a domain controller let's take an example let's say we have a server name server 10 and we installed and configured active directory domain services on this server named server 10 so as soon as we install and configure active directory domain services a database is automatically created that is the active directory database gets created on the server and that server is no more a normal server now it is a domain controller because it hosts active directory database and uh, there are other servers in our infrastructure let's say database servers application servers wsus servers dhcp dns vpn web servers print servers so these are not domain controllers because they don't host active directory database so these servers can be either member servers or stand alone servers they are not domain controllers so there is a very say distinct the difference between a domain controller and a non domain controller so remember any computer on which active directory domain services are installed and configured is called as a domain controller so as soon as we install and configure active directory domain services active directory database gets created on that particular server so it might be somewhat like this we have a contoso.com domain and there can be multiple offices in this contoso environment and every office can have multiple domain controllers and there can be multiple member servers as well and multiple workstations in each site or if your environment is let's say a big environment it can be multiple domains in one single forest and every site might have one or two domain controllers depend on the architecture so let's summarize what we have seen today so we asked a question what a domain controller is in the world of active directory and the answer is any computer on which active directory database is present is called as a domain controller or 
any computer on which Active Directory domain services are installed and configured can be called as a domain controller. Now oh, we have one more video on the ways in which we can configure a Windows Server. So how many ways in which we can configure a Windows Server? So what I'll do is I'll just uh, say drop the link in the description on ways in which we can configure Windows Server. So hope you have understood the concept of a domain controller and thank you for joining today. Hope you have learned something new and have a great day.